We had an umpire have a great game behind the dish last week, so I figured I'd highlight it since I'm always talking about when umps mess up and this guy had a great game. That curveball was a strike. That fastball, no. That's a click outside. This pitch, no. That's a click low. Broke before the zone. This one, nope. That's low as well. This one is brought to you. Ooh, that's a strike. This one is brought to you by Keeps.com. Two out of three guys are going to experience some form of male pattern baldness by the age of 35, and Keeps is out here trying to help you with that. So this umpire, John Libka, I'd never heard of him because you don't really hear about good umpires a lot. They, he had a 99% overall accuracy, overall consistency, 99% outside zone accuracy 100% called 90 of 90 true balls correctly now how accurate is whatever system is generating this report I don't know but everyone tends to just believe these enough that we can like base it off of something I've never seen a report card this good ever and I never heard of this up like I said but I should have want to know why we all should have because When he was a rookie at 32, he had the best, what they're calling bad call ratio of only 7.59%. So he's kind of known for being really good at calling balls and strikes. Good for him. This was a study done by some college in 2018. Oh no, the line right above is talking about how Angel Hernandez is routinely described as one of the worst. Oh, yikes. Didn't think that would sneak up on me, but of course it did. Anyway. John Lipka, great game by him calling balls and strikes. Now they say he only missed, ooh, look at that. He says, yep, that clipped it. I liked it. How about that one? No, no. How about that one? No, no. How about that one? Absolutely not. And this one? No. Those are all off the plate. That one, he liked it. Came in. Josh Donaldson tweeted, like these ump reports. So even players are looking at this Twitter account who tweets out these ump record, ump, ump score cards. And they usually look like this. Usually all the balls that are outside that are called strikes, they do the little circle and show you like, well, this is what his zone was really like. Here's Ron Culpa, missed a lot of balls. Look at these numbers, look at these numbers, look at these numbers. And then, you know, you had Lipka's, which was one call. And that one call... I got the pitch. This is it. Now, they're saying that's a strike. He called it a ball. It is interesting that the one pitch he, quote unquote, missed, according to the scorecard, in that at bat, it led to a home run for St. Louis. But the pitcher, he he threw more strikes in the zone. He didn't generate another called strike or swing and miss. So I don't think it played into the home run. But I just thought that was funny that that happened. But yeah, dude, I mean, real Real cool, real good. Just wanted to put the name out there. John Lipka, if he's behind the dish, know you're going to get some consistency because he's been doing it since 2018, his rookie year. Good job by him. I'm proud of him. Strike. Game over. There's a picture of me right before I made this video, and this is what it would look like if I went fully bald, and we can't have that. I got to do whatever I can to keep my hair. And if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss for yourself, you got to go to keeps.com slash John boy. You get 50% off your first order. K E E P S.com slash John boy. Keep your hair, keep it consistent. Umping and hair all wrapped into one. Umps with hair ump better because younger umps ump better. So there's more data and science.